Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're talking about the beautiful. Let's get right into it. You know her. You may have seen her in some videos. You may have seen her on your TikTok. Let's give it up to the beautiful Mia Khalifa. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's 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 let's, let's, let's calm it down. Let's cut the music, please. Mia Khalifa, as y'all all may know, was uh, involved in sex work back in the day. Um, I believe that's where her fame came from. And at some point, she was a religious woman, but I think that's all gone now. Um, so let's talk about what she said about religious music. And I want you guys to watch this video without just thinking about her being a sex worker and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm just giving you her past. But let's just assume this is some random woman giving this advice. And that's what I'm going to try to go off of here. All right, DJ, bring it back to me real quick. Appreciate you. Let's find this video. So let's get the video that got all of this cracking. Okay. DJ, come on now. Okay, cool girl engagement. Mm, that's not a thing. Everyone knows the real cool girls get divorced before 30. Okay, cool girl engagement. Mm, that's not a thing. Everyone knows the real cool girls get divorced before 30. Facts. Married at 18, divorced at 20. Cool girls definitely never get married. Bless you, Mia. I watched all of your movies. What? Uh, sorry. I am close to 30 and won't manage to get married in time for the divorce because I invested in my education. Silly. Okay, so that, y'all saw oh, that statement. Stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid Smoking to leave a joint, these by the men. Way. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing it is it is paperwork it's, not. it's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone but if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying you gotta go you gotta go you have to go i know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things but this is your fucking life do you want to be stuck with someone it's, period do you want to be stuck with someone Oh, we're comparing people people stats. today people today are so short-sighted man people really think that life is over at 30 right and that's why you're seeing this you got to get married and be divorced by 30 because life is too short okay if you assume you're gonna die at 40 yeah but even then i wouldn't agree with it but let's i mean let's say you live to be 70 75 so you got divorced at 30 to go do what to go do what what is this happiness that we're always trying to live for what is this happiness that we're always trying to get into but i digress we got more going on well this isn't i didn't really digress but there's more to this okay so we're gonna see the other response to this oh my god of course it's not that easy if you have kids but what do you want to teach your kids? Do you want to teach them to to put up with things simply for the betterment of someone else? And at the end of the day, is it for the betterment of your children if you're unhappy? Oh my God, of course it's not that easy if you have kids. The, it is better to grow up in separate two, two separate houses than one unhappy home. The best story told through movement. Yes, I left a 16-year marriage with three kids. Never is easy, but I deserve to be happy too. Oh, I'm so happy my mom showed me. It's I love it how she says my mom showed me it's the okay to walk away even if things are difficult i wish my parents didn't wait that long to get divorced even if my dad left for another woman i was relieved their marriage was over absolutely i've seen miserable marriages do far worse than damage than divorce could <sighs> listen we're not done <laughs> we still got one more she actually responded to all this stuff but i want to say this everybody who is so quick to it's just crazy that there is so much no real importance to marriage anymore she said there's no, no sanctity in it that it's pretty much just getting together and being committed to one person but if you're not happy leave what makes you happy because that's my thing mia you just said that you've been divorced what two times already you got married divorced married divorced what well, married again and kept the ring or almost got married kept the ring it's just like what is this like so what are you looking for like what is something you can't find at all 
what is this happiness? Like, what is this feeling that you're trying to look into? But you know what? I would love to say that this argument is true. And uh, she's making, she's really caring for the women. But I already know it's disingenuous because we know where this conversation is going to go. Where do you think it's going to go? Tell me right now. Comment section down below. Where do you think she's going to go with this? Do you think this is really caring about women? And this is saying you need to get out of those relationships? Or who do you think this is really geared towards? Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's let's move on to the her responding to this video. DJ, come on now. All right, let's watch. We should not be afraid to leave these men. Um, I woke up to thirty thousand on a live and grape threats on Twitter today over that take, and Death I'm threats. really failing to see what's wrong with it. I'm failing to see what's wrong in telling young women who get married young that if they are in relationships that are unhealthy and toxic and make them unhappy that just because they made a commitment they are not stuck in these relationships the only people who are mad it seems like to me are the men who 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 are the toxic ones in these relationships and who are afraid of their women having self-realization and exercising free will and leaving them because the only thing holding their relationships together is is probably the fact that they made a commitment and their religion and families fucking perpetuate that that ideal that you have to stay in a relationship you committed to. You don't. If you're unhappy, get the fuck out of there. We should not be afraid. We knew where that was going, guys. <laughs> we knew where that was going to go. Did we not? It was always going to come back to the men. And that's that's why I think it's a disingenuous argument. It's the it's the same concept of, oh, my husband's terrible. I had to leave. It's sad to see what marriage has become, man. I understand it not always working out, but it's to the point now where people, when they get divorced, they celebrate it. They're like, oh, I'm so glad it didn't work. I was so unhappy. I, it was toxic. He was terrible and all this stuff. And then when you go listen to the men's side of this stuff, it's like, what happened? Oh, she uh, she just said she wasn't in love with me anymore. She left. Like they, women make it seem like what was happening is the whole every day they were getting beaten and they were the guy was telling them they're trash and they should and they were working slaving every single day and the guy sat on the couch eating Cheeto puffs and watching football getting fat. No, no, no. What normally ends up happening is just women they start watching people like Mia, they start watching people like <laughs> the City Girls, JT. They start looking at relationships like that and thinking that that's normal to hop in and out of relationships until they're way past their prime Vivica A. Fox and way past everything and then say a minute ish and they think that's that's the life that don't you think that's a sad life you want to live because please please women in the, in my comment section if there's any women watching this tell me show me a marriage that you think is perfect that you know personally you don't have to name the people obviously but show me I want you to give me a definition of a marriage that is completely happy Every day they're happy. Everything is great. Show me what makes a marriage perfect. What makes a marriage even worth staying in? Like, show me that. Tell me why you got divorced and tell me why you were even thinking about uh, what, what this happy marriage is. And men, if you're seeing this, I already know what y'all think. Men don't just walk away from stuff. See, men are the, and I'm not trying to make this a man versus a woman, but what I've seen in my life, and I've worked with tons of women. In fact, I've worked at a job where I was the only man, it was one man for every you're not even going to believe this. 300 women. I was one man with 300 women because of the field I picked. And today, the field I picked in, guess how many men work in the same position I do? None. The only, the only men at my job are my, my boss. My boss is the man. That's it. The rest of us, they're either teachers, but anybody in like the tutoring, paraprofessional, that area, none. Just me. Right. So I work with women. I talk to a lot of women and I'm just here to tell you guys, women don't think the same as the men do. They just don't. Men will get into a job and work it for 15 years and just slave away. You know what I mean? Happy, not happy. They don't care. They just they know they got to provide for the family or they at least got to provide for themselves. So they're going to work it every single day, even though they're not necessarily happy. The, you know what they'll do? They'll find happiness in other stuff. That might be going to a friend's house and watching football. That might be going golfing. That might be going to the gym. That might be watching anime. I know every guys are different. But I think women, They I, I noticed with women, when I worked at my job, who did I see quit the most? Men or women? 
Now, obviously, just less men. But when I was working at a call center at one point in my life, it was pretty even now. A lot of women, but a lot of men. It wasn't like a lot of men. It was quite a bit of women, quite a bit of men. So I would say 40, 30 percent, and then 70 percent women, right? But overwhelming, who did I see want to quit the most? Women. Who did I see complain the most? Women. Who did I see leave the most? Women. Why? Because the second they don't feel happy in life, they're gone. They're gone. And I'm not saying all women are like this, obviously, because there's women I've met who have been working in the same job for 30 years. But it, this concept that they see on social media, that if you don't like it, go. If you don't like it, leave. You don't see men doing it. They tend to stay at their jobs. And that's why they tend to stay in the marriage. That's why a lot of marriages are filed. Divorces are filed by the women because women just be like, I'm just not happy. They just they keep looking for it and they keep searching for it and wanting it to be because what really comes down into is when I hear about happiness is what well, I need the man to do everything. I need him to love me. I need him to be emotional. I need him to give me attention when I need it. I need him to do this when I need it. I need him to do this when I need it. And then when they get a man who's like focused on work and then he comes home and he focuses a little bit on his hobbies and then he gives her time when he can because he's normally trying to keep money going or trying to keep something going. Oh, Oh, he's not giving me enough attention. He don't care about me. He don't care about what I'm doing. It's like, man, it's just like no man is going to be able to give you the constant attention because if you're needing that much attention every single day, the marriage is never going to work because it's going to come a day. And there's no way a man can work hard and work 60 hours a week and also be there for you every second of the day. And then you also want things paid for. And then you also want the family provided for. You want to work, but you don't want your money to matter, right? Right. I don't know a whole lot of women are like, man, if I quit my job right now, our whole family falls apart. No woman really wants that. And I'm cool with that. But there has to be some trade off. You can't have a guy who's a truck driver. He's gone for weeks or t uh, twice. He's gone to two weeks out of the month. And then you're so upset you go cheat on him or you're so upset because he's never around. But you also want to live the life where you your money doesn't matter as much. Your money is just savings thing there. You can't have it all, baby. You just can't. And so they always target men saying that they're toxic, they're this, they're that, because they're, we can't give you everything you want. And men will be like, you know, I'm happy if she just cooks me a meal at night. I'm happy if, you know, if I just come home to a sandwich. Men aren't asking for a ton. Are there some men who do? Yes. But let's just talk about the majority here. Right. Most men are going to go to work, come home, do whatever hobby they like, go to bed. Right. My father was the exact same way. My parents are still married. Been married for 33, 34 years, something like that. Same thing. My father would come home. He worked every day. I, I I saw my dad miss work maybe once in my entire life, maybe once or twice um, when he got hurt. But when he came, he would come home. He'd go to work. He'd come home. Bam. That's it. Come home, watch TV, watch football, watch something. Mom, do the same thing. And that was the life for them. Now, it's my mom going to leave because they're not happy. My dad, we don't go on vacations. We don't go on yachts. My dad's not there for every waking moment for my mom, but my mom was not there every waking moment for my dad. It's just a life. But people just want this false reality that they see in these movies for five minutes. They see something like The Notebook. They see something like, uh, I don't know, whatever other romantic movies are out there. But they see movies like this and they see a snippet. They see the girl falling in love with the guy and it's all cool and he takes her out and get her flowers. They see that for like, what, an hour and a half of a movie? Like life is like that every day? Guys, marriage is sacrifice. Committing to one person, loving one person through the ups and downs. Obviously, people always want to go, what if you're getting physically abused? Okay. Okay. Let's talk about the majority. Once again, I'm not here to talk about the nuances. I mean, not nuances, but I want to talk about the, oh, the exceptions. Okay. Let's talk about the marriage and being committed and raising a family and making a sacrifice of your own happiness sometimes. Because what they always assume too is that the woman's unhappy, but the man is perfectly happy because she's making him the happiest man on earth. That's not what's going on. And what ends up happening when you see women leave these marriages, they just end up alone and, and they get nothing else and that's it. And they expect, what it, it, that, and people are always trying to upgrade. They think they're going to leave a marriage and go get a guy who's even better. No, you're going to leave the marriage and have nothing. You're not going to get much better. Even men think that. They're like, what, what am I thinking? I'm going to go leave this marriage and get a woman who's even better? Unless I'm making an absurd amount of money, I'm not going to be able to get much better than I got right now. And all I'm really asking for is simple stuff. So, guys, listen. We can go more into depth about marriage, but I just want to say marriage is a beautiful thing. It is a hard thing. 
But when you hop into it, don't be listening to all these social media women who are single alone and got nobody. Who have been divorced three times and be like, oh, yeah, they're, they're their peak because they got money. That's what normally happens. They see some women with money. They see a girl who had money either from the marriage or they started some random business and they have a little bit of change and they're driving a little some Lexus or something that is high class, which that's really middle class. But still, they see this stuff and they're like, oh, I could, that could be me. I could be rich. I could be with the bags. I could be with all this. No, mm. that stuff doesn't make you happy. I promise you. Women, these women who are single are only trying to make you like them. Single, alone, and sad. They're not for you. They're trying to destroy you. Once again, it comes down to breaking up the families. People who are not in families do not live happier lives. I'm not talking about people who are religious and who are celibate. Right? I understand that. But this concept of, oh, being single at 40 is much better than being married at 40 is crazy. And stop blaming men for everything that happens in your life. Okay, stop it. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Am I crazy? Women, like I said, let me know. What's the perfect marriage then? Show me. Show me an example of somebody you know. And then show me a celebrity. Show me celebrities that you, you think are famous that have the perfect marriage. And tell me how you t you see their one minute snippets of their life on a TikTok and know that their, their, their relationship is perfect. Anyway, I'm out of here. Bye. By the way, it is already statistically proven that people who don't put their relationships online tend to last longer. Just saying.